What's up guys? So welcome to another video tutorial in Java. So in this tutorial guys, um, let's continue the um, lesson we had um, last yeah, last time sa, before this. So in the return types pa lang guys, may nakalimutan ako. So nakalimutan ko lang mag-demonstrate ng example na, example na of an integer um, return type sa function. So kung tataka kayo, para saan nga ba ang void? So ang Ano nga ba ang magtataka kayo? Ano nga ba talagang return type? So basically guys, for example, in your function, meron kayong napakahabang formula. Then that formula, um, nag-compute for example ng something, then may result. So in that that result, you can actually return it. Yun yung return type. So you can actually make it a return value to your function. Parang nalagyan mo ng value yung function mo. Actually, pwede yun. Yun na nga yun. So... You can make it um, integer, boolean, siyempre boolean, true or false lang, then float, double, blah, blah, blah. So, string, yes, string. So, nasa sign niyan. yan. So, in this tutorial, tutorial um, I'll make it um, a demonstration in integer. So, tanda nyo lang. So, in integer, it also um, applicable rin siya for other data types, okay? So, kung ano, magtataka kayo, ano ba yung void? So, basically, void lang naman. Void, as I've said, wala. Walang return type, wala. Um, parang nothing. So, para saan ba yung ginagamit? Um, for example, if your function, wala naman masyadong, ano, wala naman, wala naman na return type or return value ang function mo. So, better make it void kaysa naman gagawa ka ng function tapos may return, um, re return value or naka-return type na integer. Then, wala ka naman palang i-return. So, sayang lang naman. So, di ba ganun? So, again, public static. Um, ito, a simple demonstration. So, let's make it an, an integer return type. Then, get sum. So, may nakikita kayong little error dito. Missing return statement. So, yun. Uh, kaganda ng ID nito is inuunahan na tayo ng errors. Kung magawin na warning na tayo, yun, no? may error. So, missing a return statement. So, yun. So, public static int get sum. So, simple demonstration lang. From the word itself, word itself get sum. So, integer a is equal to 10. Let's just add two numbers. It's equal to 20. Then, integer c is equal to a plus b. Then, ito na, return, return statement, return c. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ito? So, Meron ang integer a is equal to 10, integer b is equal to 20. Then, sa integer c, i-add natin yung a plus b, which is 10 plus 20, it is equal to 30. Then, return c. Ano bang value ng c, which is 30. So, return c will be 30. The value of our c is 30. So, rin-return niya lang dito sa function na to. So, basically, you can think of it like etong etong function na to na ginawa natin, may return value siya na 30, which is of the type integer. Ganun. So, so parang you can also think of it na, yun na nga, parang may value yung function or mas magandang isipin nyo na lang na once na may return, for example na may itong return si ganyan, may return value, yun na nga, the function has its return value. So, which is, in our case, 30. So, we can, uh, so, yun na yun, then, we can, we can print, pwede natin itong gawin, so, dot print din, ganyan, so, get sum, ganyan, ganyan, so, ang lalabas dyan is, 30, diba? So, as I've said, our function has its return value. So, sa konting kalaman, you can also store it kung gusto nyo dito, you can store it to another integer, for example, integer x is equal to get sum ganyan so, wala siyang error, you can actually, cause as I've said, the function, you can think of it like, the, the value of this function is 30 cause yun yung return dito so, ganun nga as I've said, ulit ulit na ako the function has its return value, so yun lang naman guys uh, so, I'll leave it to you to experiment in other data types. Double float. So, yun lang naman, yun lang naman. Just make sure na tama yung, ang tawag dyan, the data types. Okay? So, yun. So, parameters in 
Java. Hmm. So parameters in Java. So again, so I'll make another example. So parameters in Java. Ano nga ba ang parameters in Java? For example, ganito guys. Ganito. Hmm, ganito. For example, ang, ang parameters in Java, kung gusto, for example, in your function, you want, kung gusto mong magpasa, kung mag magpasa ng value, you want to pass a value to your function. So, again, inalagay ang, ang parameter sa Java inside the opening and closing parenthesis. So, the, the parameters are, kumbaga, just like basically some, ano, kumbaga, variables, ganun lang naman. So, ginagamit siya para kung baga mag gusto mong pumasa ng value or ng data. So, integer, again, inalagay dito sa ano, integer, um, integer, any data type guys, you can make it integer, double, boolean, same as other data type. So, in, in this example, integer, for example, integer x, then, kung gusto mong, mo, you can actually uh, put tatanong kayo, pwede bang multiple na or maraming parameters or mga pwede yung papasahan? Yes. Integer y, integer z, integer z. Separate, tandaan nyo, separated by comma. Yan. So, alisin na natin to. Alisin na natin to. Ganyan. So, eto na, nakita nyo na, meron kayong tatlong parameter. So, para saan nga ba yan? So, tandaan nyo, mamaya, uh, mas maintindihan nyo once na I've made this demonstration. Tandaan nyo, in your parameter, pwede nyo ma-access yan, kung ano man yung, ang, the variable names of your parameter and its data types, pwede, pwede mo siya ma-access. For example, um, integer, or we can, we can say na return x plus y plus z. Simple as that. So, ganyan. So, ang nangyari lang naman is, i-return niya sa function na to, of type int, is yung sum ng tatlo na to. So, ano nga ba yan? So, eto na. Remember guys, in the past, in the last tutorial na, we, ano tawag dyan? We function call, get sum. Function call, ganyan. Ganyan. So, yan na. Makikita nyo, may error. Bakit nag -e may error? So, every time you put, um, what do you call this guys? A parameter, or gusto nyong, Every time you put a parameter like this, so once na nag-function call kayo, it is required na you put a value sa kada, yan, sa kada parameter mo or basically this is just um, a variable. Kumbaga. You put, you are required to put a value. So, tandaan nyo, in order ang paglagay na yan. So, for example, naglagay ako dito ng um, 10. So, the value of x, integer x dito, will be 10. So, nag comma naman ako, comma, naglagay ako dito ng 20. So, the value of integer y will be 20. Then, 30, the value of z will be 30. So, ganyan naman. So, x will be pantay-pantay lang dyan, parang pantay lang. So, kumbaga... Ang nangyayari lang naman dito is, etong 10, etong 10, pinapasa mo kay x. So, the value of x will be 10, kumbaga ganun lang naman. Or, at saka, etong 20, kumbaga etong 20, pinapasa mo papunta kay y, or the value of y will be 20. So, same as z. Magtatanong kayo, paano kung lagay, lagay pati tayo dito ng integer o? Ganyan. So, again, you're required to put another value for O. So, for example, ang 40. Ganon. So, ganun lang naman, guys. So, nag, kung makikita nyo, nag-error siya. So, what if kung, kung magsasabi ko, sinobra natin. So, again, mag-error siya kasi um, detected na yan ng ano. Um, yes, it's already been detected. So, again, pag Let's, let's try at uh, store natin ito. So, integer result is equal to ganyan. So, we can print the result. As I've said, pwede nyo siyang store sa ano. Pwede nyo siyang store sa another um, variable of same data type as this. Kung ano man yung, yung 
um, the return type of your function. But then, yun lang ang tagandan nyo. Dapat pareho siya. So, pareho yung, what I mean by pareho is the data type. So, okay. So, for once nag, once na meron kayong void na ano, na, na return type. So, at saka, example, void tong return type tapos i-store nyo sa integer. Hindi yun pwede guys. So, that's basically, um, wrong. That's wrong. That was, yes, it's wrong. So, pag present natin yan, 60. So, 10 plus 20 plus 30 is 60. So, again, ulitin ko, um, counting recap, the value of x here will be 20 kung ano yung linagay mo. Kasi once we call, itong get sum, kinuha natin yung function dito, yan, then, nagpasa tayo ng 10 sa x, then, pumasa tayo ng 20 sa y, and nagpasa tayo ng, ng number 30 sa z. Or, or the other way around, integer x will be 10, y will be 20, and z will be, uh, what do you call that? Mm, yes, 30. Z will be 30. So, ganun lang naman guys, kasimple. So, kung magtatang kayo, pwede bang string, for example, string name? Yes, pwede, pwede. Pwede, pwede, pwede. So, any, same lang naman kahit double, double. Basta tandaan nyo, you are required to put a value or record kayo magpasa. So, Ganun lang naman guys, ganun lang naman kasimple. ba? Simple simple lang naman. So, dito na tayo sa local, local, and global scope. So, eto, eto, um, simple as this. So, I'll put it, um, a comment. So, in local, um, global scopes, sa local and global scopes, alat, ulitin ko lang lang guys. So, Alisin ko na to. Ganyan. So, that's it matter kasi. Hindi naman kaya kailangan. So, sa local and global schools, for example, um, meron tayong integer x dito. Itong x na to, we cannot access it right here in this function. So, once we, for example, system that out, that print, that print, for example, x, ganyan. So, huwag na natin nang iran. Nakikita nyo, may error siya. So, ayan, nagka-exception lang naman siya kasi, kumbaga, nag-declare tayo dito ng x, local scope lang, local scope, kumbaga, dito lang siya, alam, hindi, hindi kabisado ng function na to, yung variable x, kasi dito lang siya kilala sa function na to. So, dyan lang siya kilala sa function na yan. So, the global scopes naman, um, for example, the global scopes, um, for example, um, can we actually declare? Yeah, parang something like that. The global scopes. Then, wait lang. Right? And same as, I think, pala dito. So, guys, where was I? So, sensya na may dumating kasi naman na uh, ka-disturb. So, as I've said, itong local scope. So, ayan, as I've said, we declared integer x in our main function. So, Kung makikita nyo, tinatry natin i-print dito sa um, get some function natin. So, basically, may error message. Message siya. So, you call this um, a local scope. So, integer x is kilala lang siya dito sa function na to. So, about global scopes naman, if you wanna talk about global scope, so, eto, you, you try to declare it, you can declare it somewhere here. Then, for example, like, int, um, First pala, you, you say static, static. Why? Static. Because, as I've said, ulit, ulit pa tayo, static means, um, yun, sa part na yun, um, static parang sa functions na, ano, we can, you can use it or make it without making instance of, of an object. And, static also means that, kumbaga, once, an uh, static variable means na it is shared to all classes. So, what the hell does it mean? So, basically, kumbaga, it is shared to all instances of objects. Ganon. So, yun nga, kahit ako ng literal, pero, parang, there's something in my mind kasi na, um, words can't express. <laughs> Ganon, guys. So, pero, yun, 
para sa akin, once na we've discussed um, about classes and how to make our own classes, may guess nyo talaga. May guess nyo kung para saan nga bang static na yan. So, yun. Doon ko rin, dati nun, ako rin, hindi ko rin dyan naiintindihan ano bang static na yan. So, yun. And once na I've made uh, a project na gumagawa ng classes, ganun. So, gumagamit ako doon ng static. Ah, ganun pala yun. So, para maintindihan nyo rin yan. So, integer, static, int, x, ganyan. So, from that, uh, from that, ano, so this is uh, a global, global variable. So, anywhere, kahit gumawa pa kayo ng maraming functions, etc. 300 functions, 300 functions to go. Hi guys, so sensya na, um, again, another disturbance. So, on side side, kahit gumawa kayo ng maraming functions um, in Java, so basically, ma kahit, uh, this is a global variable, so ma-access nyo siya. So, for example, lagyan natin ito ng value. For example, um, let's make it 100, then um, access natin dito by printing it. So, ganyan. So, print natin yan, 100. Then, the same, same thing. So, print, print natin yan dito. Pero syempre, ikakol natin. Um, ikakol natin yung function natin. Example lang, the name is like that. So, di ba? 100, 100. So, yun guys. So, yun. Thank you for this tutorial. So, wala na. Finish na. So, yun na naman. Wala na. Finish na. <laughs> so, yun guys. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope na naintindihan nyo. And sorry sa disturbance na pag-post ko ng video because, yun, um, may mga dumadating na without permission. So, thank you guys for watching this video tutorial and hope to see you in the next one. Thanks.